It is another blow for movie theaters already struggling in the context of a pandemic that has many of them at low volume or closed altogether. Now, Warner Brothers, uh, Warner says that it will uh, release all 2021 movies on HBO Max and in cinemas simultaneously. Unsurprisingly, movie theater stocks fell on the news. Bloomberg Entertainment reporter Kelly Goldblum is with us now. Um, and Kelly, I mean, could talk about kicking them when they're down. Uh, you, no surprise that the movie distribution companies are upset by, by this, but how surprising was the news? It's a huge surprise. Uh, we've seen lots of one-off announcements this year uh, with everybody from Disney to Universal putting some movies online that were supposed to go in theaters. But those decisions were directly related to the fact that lots of theaters are closed because of the pandemic. And this announcement from Warner Brothers uh, affects all of 2021. And if you look at some of the discussion about vaccines, it perhaps uh, impacts a time when businesses are reopening again in a serious way. So that means Warner Brothers may be getting people that would have and could have gone to the theater to stay home and watch movies there instead. And they're saying this is just for 2021, but I think audiences are going to quickly start to like this and, and love having that option. And it is going to permanently affect the film business. So the kicker is that they're only keeping them online for a month. So you do have to watch them pretty much immediately. Uh, and then the theatrical window, I guess, is sort of reopened again for anyone who missed it in the first month. Other studios have their own streaming service. Uh, Disney, of course, has Disney Plus, and they've put some uh, films on there this year. And I am, you know, they've also kind of reorganized the company to make that the center of their uh, business model. And uh, Universal, another major uh, movie studio, has Peacock. Uh, however, I think this move from Warner is is going to kind of stand alone just because it affects the entire 2021 slate, which is a big financial risk for them. They might have made billions of dollars at the box office uh, next year had they exclusively put the movies there. So they're potentially giving up uh, a windfall there at the box office to kind of subsidize the growth of HBO mm -hmm. Max. And, and I'm not sure that other studios are going to want to do that exact same thing. There have been long-standing industry regulatory concerns about the folks who create the movies also owning the means of distribution and, and efforts made to separate the two. Uh, any thought about what happens when now the means of distribution are owned by the content creators and it's, it's a streaming one? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, and, you know, it's interesting. This used to be the rule used to be if you were a movie studio, you couldn't own a theater. And now it seems like nobody wants to own a theater. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know how um, them sending their movies straight to streaming is going to impact the overall business in the long term. But I think that what you'll see is that... Um, Movies that go into the theater tend to be more events. They tend to be, they're going to be in the future like Avengers movies or DC Comics movies. And uh, for, for mid-market movies like adult dramas or romantic comedies, those are going to mostly be available on the Internet. So you're going to see kind of a, a different release pattern. You know, cinemas used to be the center of the universe, and now there's going to be kind of a hybrid in the future.